Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben, and I'm back today with more from this collection that I bought. Um, this time, it says 83 Donruss A. So, I imagine this is some kind of set or partial set of 83 Donruss. Now, the real question with the partial set of 83 Donruss is, will we find Wade Boggs rookie, Tony Gwynn rookie, and most important to me, the Ryan Sandberg rookie. I do not have that one in my personal collection. As you guys know, I collect Ryan Sandberg. So I'd love to have the Ryan Sandberg rookie in this, this uh, collection here. So here's, that's what I'm hoping for, fingers crossed. I'd also love to pull the Nolan Ryan out of here. And there are a handful of errors in here I'm interested in too, particularly the Ron Jackson. There's a Ron Jackson with the, where it says A's on the front instead. And that's fairly rare, hard to come by. So, um, I don't know if the, they don't look like they're in order, so I guess we're just going to have to roll through and see what we can find. Um, so stick with me here. There's Jim Rice, and this one's a little rough shape here. You can tell by the box it's not in the, you know, there's a lot of space. It looks like they were probably all in good shape at one point, but I don't know how good shape they are in now. Um, and a lot of the errors, there's Keith Hernandez, Jack Morris. A lot of the errors, uh, you know, are going to be hard to tell. There's a random 88 tops sweepstakes card. So one thing I love is, is sharing these with you guys and not looking at them first. So I do not know um, whether this has the cards that we're looking for or not in here. There are a handful of other important rookies, uh, too, from this year or, or interesting rookies. But one thing that was heartening to me was I, when I, I did open it briefly just before I bought it, and I saw that Carl Yastrzemski. I was like, okay, at least they didn't pull out everybody with a name. Um, it's not just a box of commons. That was the thing. Well, that's the one thing I was going on here. And um, funny thing is, but this 83 Donruss set, it's almost exactly the same as the 82 Donruss set. There's Sparky Anderson, the manager, actually taking BP. I like that. It's cool. Um, the difference between 82 and 83 is kind of like the direction of the bat, and also there's a ball here instead of a glove. And that's what made, I think, 84 so interesting, was that they finally did a complete revamp of the look, and uh, everybody was super excited about the 84 Donruss set, which is what I also got from this collection by. Looks like we got some Diamond Kings here. There's a uh, Perez, the guy who uh, actually paints the Diamond King pictures. There's Harold Baines. He has a card in here with his, his, his Diamond King checklist actually has his picture on there. So there's Joe Morgan, Keith Hernandez. I also think there's supposed to be a another one of the San Diego chicken cards in here. Jack Morris. There's the Yaz. I'll go through these in more detail when uh, off camera, but really what we're looking for here, that Ryan Sandberg or those other rookies. I don't have a lot of experience with this set. I never really had much as a kid. Um, they were hard to come by for me for sure. But uh, yeah, so that's why I'm lo looking forward to diving in a good bit. But I wanted to share with you guys the, there's Pete Rose. Either the joy or the heartbreak when I realized that the Ryan Sandberg is in or out of this collection here. And uh, this collection that I that I bought was uh, I got a I got a good deal. I feel like I got some really good things. So it's, I, there's a list. I wonder if that's the cards that are missing. If that's that's my guess is that this is a full set except for these handful of cards. So that tells me that this is not a complete set for one thing. So I won't feel bad breaking it up. But the question is. Are those cards the ones that I want? Raleigh Fingers. You know, having just looked through recently the 84 set, this set really is, it pales in comparison as far as how exciting and fun it is. There's Carlton Fisk. The design, the photography, it just definitely is not as nice of a set. Rod Carew. Oh wait, the Byron, the, the, um, the Bryn Smith. 
So this is the error card. You can see it's B-Y-R-N instead of B-R-Y-N, the Brian Smith. So this is the error of this one. I don't know if that matters, but I'll put that aside. You know, I love these error cards and error hunts. Raleigh Fingers again, Jim Palmer. It looks like almost exactly the same picture that's on his 84 Donruss Jim Palmer card. There's Jerry Remy. Really looking for that, that Ron Jackson too. Oh, I should have looked at that Sparky Anderson a little more closely. I think there's an error on that one. I forgot about that. <laughs> Goose glasses. Look at those glasses. Holy cow. It's a very 1982 thing to do. Tommy Lasorda, who always looked the same in his entire baseball managing career. Tom Seaver. Ozzie Smith. There's the Nolan Ryan, all right. So I don't have this one in my collection, so I'm super excited to have this one and in such great shape. So that's excellent. Reggie Jackson. Here's the Ty Cobb, it looks like. Yep, there's the Ty Cobb. Um, card that, that uh, is for the um, puzzle. This doesn't appear to have the puzzle pieces in it, so again, this is a hand collated partial set. It looks is what I'm gathering based on the evidence we have. But that, all things considered, you know, that being the case, it, the cards are in great shape for the most part. You know, a few dings here and there, mostly because I think the box was not full. Um, never a good idea to store these kind of things in boxes that aren't full and then move them around because they just bump around and get mucked up. Steve Carlton. Alan Trammell. I don't know, man. If we're halfway through, and we haven't seen any of those rookies. It's not a very good sign, if you ask me. That's why it's kind of fun to look for these errors because there's Robin Young. I think those are harder to spot, the errors, and you have to kind of like do your research and know what you're talking about to pull those out. So that Ron Jackson, if we can get the one with the A's uh, there instead of the Angels. Um, actually, that's a pretty rare card to find. So there are three versions of that. Let's see which one we can find if we have one. Gary Carter. George Brett. Lou Whitaker. There's Howard Johnson. That's his rookie card there. That's a good card. Charlie Strumpfke, doing a little fungo bat. Come on, Ryan Sandberg. Come on, Ryan Sandberg. There's Kit to cool day. I probably might even have to say his name, but that's just one I enjoy saying. Like, getting a little nervous. What do you think, guys? We're gonna find this Ryan Sandberg or not? How long has Tim Wallach been in the league? Yeah, at least 1980. Tucker McGraw. All right, we're in the last third here. I really don't like our odds at this point. Baker, Oscar Gamble, Kirk Gibson, Dwight Evans, J. 
Joe Morgan, Larry Boa, which is Larry Boa is worth noting because he, uh, that's who I think the Philly, it was part of the Ryan Sandberg deal with the Phillies. None of those big three rookies so far. Are we even close to in order here? Yeah, they are in pretty close to order. So I don't know when those uh, rookies should have been in the order. But uh, it's not looking very good for us here. There's Eckersley. John, Frank Robinson, Don Sutton. All right, so Don Sutton has a has a variation too, the blue frame or the green frame. So the the green the blue frame is the is the the first version. So I'm going to put that aside. That might be worth something looking at working on that one. Andre Dawson, also interesting something here. He, by the way, he just looks super strong in these pictures from those days. Andre Fernando Dawson, which his middle name is actually Nolan. <laughs> so funny that they uh, got that wrong. That's an uncorrected error there. But here we go. All right, we should be close to the Ron Jackson if these are in order. There's Willie Stargell. Look, he is, by, by contrast to uh, Andre Dawson, he is not looking like he's in great shape. At this point in his career, towards the end of his career, you can see his you know his numbers starting to fall off. He's only playing half the season or so. Bert Blylevin, no mustache or beard. Dave Stewart. All right, this is it. I, I feel like there's another one of those brood cards in there. So it seems to me like this, the rookies were picked out of here, which is unfortunate and sad, especially for that Ryan Sandberg. I was really hoping. There's our MVPs. I think that's, that's Joe Morgan and uh, Frank Robinson. And who's that last guy? It was Frank Robinson. Oh, Vita Blue. That MVP's card. That's an interesting little random card to have in there. Ron Jackson. Oh, it's the Angels one. Womp, womp. Too bad. That's the uh, the red frame Angels one. There's also a green frame Angels one, but the one you all, you, everybody wants is the, the A's error there. So that's too bad. So now we're just holding out hope for those rookies. But it's not looking so good at this point. Not a one of them. And because it's missing all, there's the Negro Brothers. And because it's missing all three of them, that tells me there was a pick going on. But if there's going to be a pick, at least we got left the Nolan Ryan, which uh, is a great one for my collection. So that's worth the price of admission for me, at least that. But, uh, and we got a couple layers to, to look at too. So hope you enjoyed it. Let's look back at 1983 Donruss. I've got some more from this uh, collection I'm going to break for you, and I'll see you then.